So if I add acid, I should go, I'm adding acid, and so the EN, which is currently attached to the nickel, is going to do this reaction at the bottom where it gets protonated by the, by the sulfuric acid, and I should be able to get it to go back to light blue, to blue, to bluey green, and then end up back at my hexaqua water, my, my nickel with water is attached to it, that green colour. I've still got some blue on top, that's quite neat. So, again, that's a thermodynamically favourable reaction, and it happens. It happens as soon as that, it was happening at the speed that I was pouring it in, right? As soon as the, that acid was touching the solution, it was reacting. This is the cobalt equivalent. The cobalt one is also thermodynamically, it should do the same thing. The thermodynamically favourable reaction Nothing happens. It's a thermodynamically favourable reaction. I could leave that sat there. This is a terrible reaction to do in the lab. This will take two weeks to react. Okay, so we're not going to sit here for two weeks and watch it. It won't react over the course of the lecture. It's a thermodynamically favourable reaction. It just takes ages and ages and ages and ages and ages because the cobalt hangs on to the EN so tightly that even though it wants to go this way, Cobalt is just holding on too tightly, and unless I heat it up or I leave it for two weeks, nothing happens.